So is generating my abstract or email and just copying it without changing anything not unethical? Um, okay, so we're going to leave this. Uh, yeah, maybe Dr. Naveed, you want to take that? So for me, if you're copying your abstract that was generated by an AI tool, that's not ethical because that abstract was generated from your own text, which you wrote from your own manuscript. What the tool only did for you was summarize it to shorten it. That's all it did. It didn't take ideas from somewhere else, which is unethical. It took ideas from your own text. So if you generate an abstract from your text, it's legal and it's ethical. I hope that answers you. Then com coming to the email again, the email part. If you copy the email that the tool generates for you, it's 100% ethical to use that for your purposes because you instructed the tool, you gave it instructions on what to write. You told the tool about who to address it to, what to put in the content. If you can remember, I had a little prompt where I said, this is the purpose, this is who I am, this is why I'm sending this email, etc. So first of all, no one is going to screen your email and check whether this is <laughs> this is plagiarized content or not. But secondly, this email was generated specifically for you. So it's totally ethical to use it. And I think we need to kind of just make a distinction between academic work, which is going to be marked um, for your, you know, and you're going to graduate with this and an email if you put an email, work smarter, not harder is the way that I kind of see it. You know, if you can use AI, use AI, it's not a big deal. But for academic work, that needs to be yours. Great. Yeah, it's always a gray area, right? There's never a, a straight answer. But thanks for clarifying that. Mm -hmm.